Merry Christmas. What do you think, Santa Claus? I believe. You underestimate the power of the dark side. Yeah, never do that. All right, it's Friday afternoon. What time is it? All right, it's uh, basically 10 after 4. Here in quiet old Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And we're going to be talking about movies. I watched a few movies this week, so let's discuss them. It's the old movie book and movies and etc. So how's everybody doing? Everybody all in lockdown, playing their records, listening to the music and watching movies and reading books and baking muffins, special muffins and stuff like that. Anyway, let's talk about movies. All uh, right. Okay, well, we're, this is the first one. We're going to talk about these right here. The Sons of Katie Elder, 1965. Their boys are home. They're waiting for their big brother to show up. Their mother's dead. They want to find out what happened to their mother. So they decide to go around knocking on doors and stuff. Now, most of these, I, well, I shouldn't always say that, most of these. This is the John Wayne movie from 1965, The Sons of Katie Elder, and it stars uh, John Wayne, Dean Martin, Earl Holloman Jr., Jeremy Slate, Michael Anderson Jr., directed by Henry Hathaway. It's a good, fun movie. Lots of guns, shooting, explosions. They want to find out who killed their mother. Why did, why did their mother lose the farm? Yeah, how come they get to live in a shack on the other side of the hill? John Wayne wants to know. He starts asking questions. And he starts finding out the reason why. Yeah, so that's John Wayne and the sons of Katie Elder. And what did I give that? I gave it a seven. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a seven. Simple little John Wayne movie. Nothing wrong with it. I'll watch it again. No problem. All right. What else? Oh, yeah, El, El Dorado. Right here, this one. El Dorado, right? Starring Robert Mitchum and John Wayne, James Caan. One of his early movies. Not first movie, I'm not sure. This is first movie or not. But this is from 1967. Yeah, he finds out that Robert Mitchum's character is a drunken old sheriff. That's the main idea, right? Some girl trying to put the kibosh on him said no, so he went into a tailspin, got drunk, right? So he's a dummy, he's a drunk, he can't do anything. John Wayne finds out, he meets up with the kid, the kid James Conn, right, Mississippi. He's been hunting for some guys that killed his uh, godfather. He finds him in a, hole, in a bar and he kills him, right? Throws a knife into his chest. And then him and John Wayne hook up and they go back into town. And they find out that Robert Mitchum is a drunk, and they're trying to help him from uh, some bad guys that are stealing the water, the water rights, I guess. I get them all mixed up. <laughs> but 1967, El Dorado, John Wayne. John Wayne movies are always fun. Most of them. not uh, Yeah, not all of them. Most of them. Put it that way. All right, so that was El Dorado. Yeah, and that's a 7-2 from 1967. I've probably seen both of them at the, sh at the show here in Toronto, Young Street, Saturday nights mostly. Oh, I watched a movie on the movie channel here also on the Rogers, cable TV, Rogers. I pay for it every month. I think it's, the uh, I don't know what it is, 20 bucks a month or something like that for all these channels, movie channels, home box office, uh, Showcase or something like that. I forget now. But the meal. Yeah, the meal. Uh, with um, <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going for a freaking blank here. Oh. The, oh I'm going blank here. 
Dirty Harry, what's his name? Pretty guy, you know, you know, you know what it is. Let's go on, moving on. I'm a dummy. I can't remember. An old guy. He's 90 years old, right? He's running coke for the Mexican tar cartel, right? So yeah. Bear with me, you know what I'm talking about. Dirty Harry. What, what's, why can't I say his name? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, the mule, uh, uh, 2018. Uh, I gave it a 7, too. He's 90 years old. What the hell? You know, if I was 90 years old, I'd probably run freaking cult for the Mexican cartel. <coughs> anyway, it's a good movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it. And I can't remember his name. I'm dull. It's right on the tip of my tongue. I'm so stupid. I'm embarrassed. Uh, okay, and then we're going to talk about Satan met a lady. This another. This the second story based on the Maltese Falcon. The story about the Maltese Falcon, starring Warren Williams and Betty Davis. This 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 is a terrible movie. I watched watched this movie. I was sitting there going, you know, it's like. Oh, I'm going on. I'm just sitting there. It was dull. I don't know how else to explain it. Dull? I don't know. I didn't like it. It's like, oh, I'll never get that hour and a half back again. One of those movies. Very, very bad. I give it a three. <clears throat> no reason why either. I give it a three. That's from what, 1934? Saw that in TCM too. All right, what else did I watch? Oh, yeah, okay. I watched this movie. Can you see this movie right here? The Four Brothers? Yeah, Four Brothers. Mark Wahlberg and Therese Gibson. Story about four brothers who go back home to find out what happened to their mother. Somebody killed their mother in a corner store, shot her with a shotgun, blew her away. They go back for the funeral. They ask the cops, what happened? Ah, a couple of gangbangers went into the store, stole the guy's money. They killed the guy behind the counter, too, blasting him. Sounds kind of familiar, don't it? Anyway, they killed the guy behind the counter, and their mother was at the back of the store looking at the turkeys. It was, I think it was Thanksgiving. Was it Thanksgiving? Yeah, so, uh, you know, they blow her away, too. Uh-huh. So the four brothers, two white guys, two black guys, brother, brothers, they were brought up to, by this lady, right, in this house. When they were younger, she brought them up. She, she, they placed kids in her home. But these four guys never got placed any, anywhere. They didn't, nobody wanted them. So Mark Wahlberg starts asking questions, like, how did their mother die? Very good movie. Most of it was made here in Toronto, up at Lake Simcoe. And some of it was made in Hamilton. A lot of it was made right here down on uh, Caroline Avenue. And they're driving down the street and they hit Eastern Avenue. And they drive along Eastern Avenue. They end up down at the waterfront, down where Knob Hill Farms were. And uh, they were also filmed at Moss Park, uh, Regent Park, I should say, Regent Park Apartments. Uh, in the old places that were, uh, I think by then, then they, some of them were already empty, boarded up, like the little short buildings, three or four story ones. Yeah, so they fill them there. They fill them in uh, the, the rink beside Moss Park down at, uh, I think, Parliament and Queen Street. And um, yeah, they made Toronto or Hamilton, I think, some parts of Hamilton look like Detroit with uh, empty houses and stuff like that. So, but that was a very good, interesting story of uh, uh, Mark Wahlberg. And, Lots of gunplay, you know, shooting guns and stuff like that. And it was okay. Nice scene at the end in a movie up at Lake Simcoe where I used to go ice fishing years ago. Not that I, I think I got drunk more than I caught any fish, but hmm, that's another story. All right, so that was good. What did I give that? Um, well, I gave that a seven. So you know, we're cruising along in a few movies here with a seven. Now, this movie you can watch again also, Four Brothers. It sounds friendly, don't it? Yes, it does. All right, then I watched this one.
Bruce Willis, live free or die hard? 2007, I think. Stars Brent, uh, Bruce Willis and what's his name? Justin Long? I don't have my glasses on, but Justin Long? Yeah, Justin Long. What's he been doing lately? Haven't heard too much from Justin Long. Has he been in any other movies in a while? Anyway, he gets a call. Hey, hello, ding dong. Get in here. Go get pick this guy up. He's uh, in this uh, hotel or apartment where he stays at. He's a computer hacker, and they're looking for him, right? So Bruce was, why can't you get somebody else? Well, you know, go pick him up. He's wanted. We need him. Bring him in. So Bruce Willis goes to pick up this punk kid in this little rotten old apartment. He gets in there, right? And uh, he's saying, hurry up, let's go, and all that stuff. And the kid's grabbing stuff. Next thing you know, the guy's outside checking the place over with the machine guns and guns and all that. Decide they had enough. They couldn't wait anymore. So they start blasting at this kid and Bruce Willis. And they're both going there, holy shit, what's going on? Anyway, he grabs the kid and makes a mad dash out the back down the fire escape, and they're all chasing him, and Bruce Willis is going, oh my goodness. Anyway, of course, it's about hackers, right? And about them trying to steal, I think it's money. But uh, you don't have to watch the story to find out. Bruce Willis, right? Yeah. McCain. Die Hard. Nothing wrong with This movie's pretty good. Nothing wrong with this one at all. This one's a pretty good movie. Well, there I give it. I gave that a 7 too. Bruce Willis, Live Free or Die Hard. 2007. Well, that was alright. Alright, what else did I do here? That's it? I think that's it. I think that's it. Anyway, that's about it. Oh, yeah, that you know. And I watched this. I watched this, yeah, last night. Spawn. Spawn. What was this? 1997 or something like that, was it? 97? I picked this up in December down on Gerard Square down at Walmart. You know, the $5 bin. I, have, I heard a lot of stuff about this movie, know of this movie. So when I was down there, I said, yeah, I'll buy it. You know, what the hell, you know. Put it in the cart, whatever. So I, I watched it last night. I think I got Spawn number one too, and probably a 9.8 condition in the box somewhere. So I think I think it's the only Spawn comic book I have. I have no idea how many Spawn comic books there are, but uh, McFarlane, right? Todd McFarlane. The big artist that drew Spider-Man for Marvel Comics back in the early 90s. As far as I know, if I remember right. I'm getting all my memories going. Still got good looks, though. But um, You know, the special effects movie event of the year. Yeah. Let's be honest. No. Who was in this movie? What's his name? John Leguizami, or what's his name? John, he was in um, John Wick movies, the guy working in the car dealership and stuff, that guy. He's in there as a clown. Well, you got to watch the movie to find out more of what I'm talking about. And uh, what's his name? Uh, Michael J. White? Or Ja White? Whatever. But... This movie, to me, this is my opinion, this is my channel, whatever. This is a terrible movie. I don't even want to rate it. My, some of you might like it and you love it and all that stuff, but me, I watched it last night and I'm sitting here going, oh, my, you know, like, no. Terrible. I don't like it. I do not like this. This one's going. I'm not even keeping it. I'll give it away or put it downstairs in the laundry room at 6 o'clock in the morning when no one's around when I go downstairs and do my laundry. But this one's like, what do you, how, how would you say this one's like, oh, garbage, hit me on top of the head. I didn't throw that one very far, did I? Let's try that again. Look, 
This one? Gone. I am your father. You like that, eh? If you only knew the power of the dark side. You know, what I'm, you know how I'm doing that, don't you? I'll show you. I'll show you how. Look, watch. See? There's Darth Vader. I bought this a few years ago at uh, Target. Target was here in Canada for a couple of years. And then they left, went back home. The force is strong with this one. Anyway. Merry Christmas! You like my t-shirt? Anyway. All right, people, stay safe, stay home. Keep watching movies, read your books, watch watch your TV shows. Right now on Netflix, I'm watching uh, 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 Riverdale. Yeah, Riverdale. I uh, finished watching uh, um, Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. I watched that for the last three years. And every year, like last year was dark. This year is really dark on Sabrina. But it's fun. It's fun. And I just start, like I said, I just started the first year of... Uh, Riverdale of Archie. So, that's all right. Not wrong with it. So, I'll be watching um, Riverdale for a while now. I usually watch it at lunchtime when I'm having my lunch, you know, my bologna sandwich and my tea and stuff and whatever. But, yeah. So, be, like I said, people, be safe. Stay home. Happy Easter. If you're with your family, I'm going to be here by myself, and a lot of people are going to be by themselves. And tonight I'm having fish and chips and a glass of Coke. So that's it. All right, talk to you next week. Until then, keep watching those movies.